This is Airwind's 11.14 exercise, an APC phase sequence three-phase balanced Y-connected source supplies a balanced delta connected load. The impedance per phase in the delta load is 12 plus J9 ohms. The line voltage at the source is VAB the line voltage between A and B is 120 root 3 with 4 degrees. These are volts RMS. If the line impedance is zero between the source and the load, find the line currents in the balanced Y delta system. Let me represent the situation. The source is a nomai like this, even though we are not given actually the values of each one of these the sources let me draw them like that and the uh, the load is in a delta hmm. okay the load is in a delta uh, and those are resistors and inductors okay okay this is a resistor and an inductor in each one of them excellent and excellent those are there that is just fine mm -hmm. mm. okay we're all set what else do we know uh, that uh, these is 12 and this is j9 and the same is true for all the others and we are also told this is phase A and phase B and phase C. We're given this voltage here. This voltage. This one here. This is 120. 120 root 3 with 40 degrees. That's that voltage. You say, okay, if that is that value, if this one here will be... 120 root 3 divided by root 3 this is only 120 volts what about the phase hmm well let's see let's see L let me redraw this as a phase or diagram uh, look this way this is phase a neutral this is phase b and this is phase c and this is the voltage they're giving me well Let's see, uh, this is root 3 times 120, so we've already said this is 120, and this phase is 30 degrees, this angle, uh, so let's see, let's see, okay, so this tells me that VA, this voltage here, is 30 degrees less than the phase of VAB. Mm, so that means that the phase of VA is 40, this angle minus 30 degrees, this is only 10 degrees. There you go. There you go. So I can, I can erase this. Excellent. And this is 120 when, with 10 degrees. Uh, what about this source? You know I don't like working with delta, so let me convert that delta into a y. How? I divide that by 3. This would be 4 plus j3. Okay, let me erase that. So erase this. And then the equivalent y will be resistor inductor. Ooh. And this is 12 plus 9. And that is 4 ohms, and this is J3. Excellent. And then what? And then I solve only phase A, this one, because I know that out of symmetry, the voltage between G and N is zero. So I solve only, only that circuit. Allow me to redraw uh, the case like this. This is 120 with 10 degrees. And here, there is the 4 ohms, J3. And I can compute the current. What current is that? 
That is the line current for phase A. That's what it is. And that is simply 120 with 10 degrees divided by 43. Excellent. Uh, what else? Uh, find the line current. So that means I, I, I could find the others. And that is easy. That is the line current in phase A. 24 amps with a phase of negative 26.9 degrees. And uh, what about this current? This is the line current in phase B. And this is the line current in phase C. Will I subtract 120 degrees from this phase to get the line current in phase B is 24 with a phase of negative 26 9 minus 120 degrees and you do the math and ILC is 24 with negative 26.9 plus 120 degrees and those are amps and amps and that would solve this exercise uh, fine uh, but let's do something else L let's now that we have this current here let's go back to the original one i know this is not asked of us they are not asking us to do that in this exercise but let's do that anyway we are given uh, this circuit right the original one mm -hmm. the original one and in the original one what well, the question is uh, the new question, the one we're making up, is find those phase currents. What are they? Okay, we know that this phase current is going to be the line current value 24 divided by root 3. We, we know that. And the phase. Well, let's do that. Let's, let's, let's do that. Let me erase this diagram because we will need that space to... To solve this part, we say, okay, okay, this is the situation. Hmm. These are the, these are the different phase currents in the delta, right? This is the current from A to B, IAB. This is the current from C to A, and um, here comes the current um, ILA. Well, we can apply a KCL equation to this node here and write currents going in ILA plus ICA and that is equal to currents leaving IAB and then I solve for the line current. The line current is line current is um, IAB minus IA uh, ICA sorry this is ICA okay 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 you say is uh, IAB that is this okay plus the negative of ICA okay so the negative of ICA would be this, right? That's right. This is a negative of ICA. We add them together, this one, with this one, and I get the I line current A, which is this one here. Oh, but I already know this one. This is I line A. I know that that is 24 amps with negative 26.9. What I want is to find this current here. You say, okay, this current here has this magnitude. So 24 divided by root 3. But the phase, this is what I'm trying to look for here. Mm -hmm. This one has the phase of the line current plus 30 degrees. Oh, so I write this phase is negative 26 plus 9, 0.9 plus 30 degrees. Let me write it. Negative 26 plus 9 
plus 30 degrees and you do the math and you could do the same for the other the other currents right the other phase currents in there oh uh, well that is all for this second exercise um, we could have computed the power pretty much the same way as in the previous tutorial thank you very much